today we're going to go over something that a lot of the community have been asking me to showcase how you can actually compare actual results to budgets so I just want to sh lay the scenario out here for you now this is a very common scenario I'm sure you might you may uh, find this in your own environments quite often now what we've got here is we've got some budgeting information so we're trying to bring some budgeting information into our model so that we can annualize uh, we can visualize it versus the actual results which could be from sales happening every day now the problem we have is that budgets are usually not they don't come in a, on a daily basis they usually come in on a monthly basis or even a yearly basis in this case we're just looking at it from a, a yearly perspective the budget has one number for the entire year now the technical term for this in power bi is different granularity so this data is at a different granularity to our fact table data so if i come to our sales data you can see here that this is actually one sale for every single every single transaction has a sale so we're making sales uh, on lots of different days uh, for lots of different products to lots of different customers obviously but then we have got some budgets our budgets are for particular uh, particular cities so if i just jump back to the budget table for uh, we, our budgeting information is on cities and so the other intricacy here is that our regions table is actually its its granularity is actually what is termed suburb here and city is actually just a, another dimension inside uh, this table so there's two things we have to contend with here and I'm going to show you how you can actually solve both of these so that you can uh, very uh, effectively analyze these in one visualization together Let's have a quick look at the data model. So what we've had to do here is set up a couple of things. So obviously we've got uh, a, a similar data model to what you're probably used to where we've got our fact table, which is uh, in this case just sales information, but it could be any transactional type information. Then we've got our lookup tables at the top here. We've got dates, customers, products, regions. But what we need to do is because the city dimension in our regions table is not the index column it's actually just another dimension uh, of the suburb we need to break out our cities into another table here so what I've done is I've just created a table of just the cities which can filter both of those because what we want to do is we want to be able to select a city we want it to be able to flow down the relationship and filter not only our sales table but also our budgeting information so we need to break it out into a separate table so that we can create these two relationships that flow down this way now the interesting thing to note here is because this is at a different granularity to what's in our sales table there is no connection between the budget data and the sales data we're going to build the connections through measures okay let's jump in now the other key thing uh, that I have to reiterate uh, when trying to work out how to develop these in Power BI is to always always try and put results into a table uh, so that you can try and understand what the calculation is actually doing if you put say if you try and work out how to do this budgeting type scenario uh, analytical work inside of visuals it's I would say virtually impossible to understand what is going on so what we want to do is we want to analyze uh, so we want to create a table so let's create a table of our dates like so and so in this case just recognize that we've got a filter on 2016 because that's all we're analyzing because the budgeting information is 2016. so what i'm going to do is i've created my a simple measure so total sales so this is the sales per day but what we want to do is we want to say we basically have to divide up the budgeting information which is at a yearly level we need to divide it up so that we have a, a portion that can be attributed to every single day and so if I if I go like so if I go uh, let's I'm just going to type in total budget and I'm just going to go sum of the uh, sales budgets column so if I bring that into my table here you'll see that we get the total across uh, for every single day we get 62 odd million for every single day and so all it is doing is it's coming to the budgeting table uh, budgeting data and it's just summing up this column for every single day so what we need to do is we need to we need to create some logic which allows us to divide this up and this is the logic that you need to um, you need to create uh, to do that now the first thing we want to do is we obviously need to if you just think logically about what we want to do we obviously want to divide or times this by one 
divided by 365 or 366, depending on how many days in a particular year. And then that's going to give us a, a ratio to times this total budget by. So first of all, what, we, what we've got to do is we've got to work out, okay, well, let's figure out how many days in this particular year. And the way we can work that out is through this formula here. So we want to just go days in year. And we're going to go calculate count rows. So what we want to do is we just want to count on how many rows, how many rows in this particular year. So we're counting up the date table, but now we just need to isolate each individual year. And the way we can do that is we go all accept dates and then put in the year column here. And so if I go into there and I drag this into our table, you'll see now that for every single day in this particular year, we have the days in the year. So now we need to somehow work out, well, how can we get one in here? So we can go one divided by 366 and then times that by the total budget. Now this isn't too difficult, but you just gotta remember a couple of things and you gotta, cause you gotta think, well, how can we actually make this dynamic? Because what could happen is that instead of looking at it from a daily perspective, you actually might wanna look at it from a monthly perspective. And so we have just gotta be a bit careful, but uh, I'm gonna write days in, in uh, date context. So I'm just gonna call it something slightly different so you know what I mean in a second. So then I'm gonna go count rows dates. And then if I push enter, and I drag that into the canvas, you'll see now this is actually one, 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 one for every single date, which is great. But what this also enables us to do is that if we turned this date into a month, for example, so let's actually, this, this is actually gonna change. This is actually gonna be 30 or 31 based on whatever, uh, how many days in a particular month. So if I swap out the date and I drag in the month and year here, actually that's not what I want, I want month and year you'll see that this days and date context has now changed. So it's gonna be 31 divided by 366 times the total budget. So now we've got the logic correct there. What we wanna do, what we wanna do is we now wanna then uh, write the master formula that, that will divide up this total budget. So we wanna go, uh, we wanna go and call this budget, we'll call this budget allocation. And we're gonna go days, in date context divided by days and year, and then we're going to times that by total budget. Now, if I drag this into the table now, you'll see now we have this allocation. We have a daily allocation, which is exactly what we wanted. But check out what happens if we put this into the monthly context. So I'm going to put budget allocation here, and you'll see that it automatically adjusts for the month now, which is really cool. So now what we've got, we've got our total sales versus our budget allocation, right? So now we can actually turn this into, uh, we can now get rid of those intermediary calcs and we can now turn this into a, uh, into a visualization. So I'm just gonna turn this into, uh, into a column chart with a line and you'll see that that line represents the budget and we've got our actual sitting underneath that. And we can do exactly the same thing here dynamically uh, without having to change any formula uh, at the monthly level. So I'll just change this as well. And what we need to do uh, just to uh, make this look prop, uh, make this look reasonable is that you can see that the axes are actually uh, not on the, uh, not, not on the same, uh, the axes aren't the same. So we just need to come to our y axis here and make sure we're starting at the same same place, probably ending at the same place. So we'll go six million here. And then we'll find our other one, we'll go six million. And start that at zero, just like that one. Okay, cool, so now we've got our monthly budgets and we've also got our budgets from a daily perspective. So that's just a technique. Obviously you can probably take, you can take this further and watch out the videos where we do take this further is that you might actually wanna look at this cumulatively. You might wanna compare cumulatively. You might wanna see what's the difference between actuals uh, and budgets, etc. cetera. Uh, so I'll um, certainly uh, get some videos online that, um, that showcase that in, in time. But this is the general technique to our, uh, that you could actually use in a lot of different scenarios. It's, it's, it's what you need to do to change information at one granularity to co and compare it to information at another granularity. And all we've done is we've created some intermediary logic which enabled us to, um, to break, 
break up that uh, that uh, summary information into uh, smaller portions to uh, compare it to more granular information like our trans from our transaction table.